the pipe. So let's have a look into increment and decrement. To add 1 to a variable 2, you would write x equals x plus 1, right? Remember, the compiler first has to evaluate x expression on the right hand side. So it takes whatever x was, adds 1, and this value is then assigned to x. Okay, so x becomes this result. So many CPUs have fast um, increment and decrement operators, so you use plus plus or minus minus. And we can distinguish, depending on the position, to a variable what it does. So if we have plus plus x, this is the so-called pre-increment operator. That means the, vari the variable value is changed before it is used. If you have the operator after the variable, like x minus minus for instance, it's the post-decrement operator in this example. That means the variable is first used and then changed. <coughs> so <coughs> that makes a huge difference. Um, here is basically the example that demonstrates how it works. So let me just retype it on our term terminal that we can have a look. Increment. So while I, I of course um, write it down, we will discuss it. So we have to create a variable and we, we first do this uh, upper declare the com computer that this is now an integer variable and it has a name this year and then we can assign it so this year is set to the value 2017 I can do this two steps in one which is what I did here so I just created this uh, variable and assigned it and initialized it with 2017 now we print f1 we print a year. So what will this print? Well, remember, basically the computer will take have to take the last value that this variable has been set to, which is 2017. So this will print 2017. Okay. Now let's take two. Um, we take plus plus this year. Now we have we would have to go back to this slide. If the operator is in front of the variable, yes it is, so it's plus plus x, so that means the value is changed before being used, and it's the pre-increment operator, okay? So it's changed first, okay? So what is the value then if I add 1 to this value? Well, yes, 2018. So I, I modify this value to 2018, and then I use the value, and now I go to step 3, I decrement 1, well, what is the value again? Well, it's probably 2017. And now let's finally go to step four. I, inc I do the post increment. That means I first increment, uh, I first take the value that it was, which value was it? You have to think about it, right? So you can make a comment if you like. So we'll print 2017, right? At first it was 2017. That's what the value is here, so it has to be here. Now if I go to the next line, I first incremented, will print 2018, right? And I then I decremented first, makes it to 2017 again. Finally, I will print 2017, but this year will be have been incremented to 2018. Right, because after I've printed the value, I incremented the value by one. So let's see what else we have. Yeah, we can add, of course, anytime I can add a block here, which we saw was a syntactical construct, start block and end block. And then I can print f again, our number. And let's just print this here as it is with the current value. Okay, so what will this now print? Yeah, the last value that this year has, we said this year has 2018, so this must print, will print 2018. Let's have a look. 
etc. What was our program? Um, increment. Okay, let me just run it. So let's see if that is what we guessed it should be. So 2017, 2018, 2017, 2017, and 2018. So all correct. And you see again, the com this is the kind of strategy for sequence, right? We go step by step and perform the executions. And in this case, also when we create a variable, we assign the value. So you can consider this is an initial step, actually doing something, right? So, okay, well done. I hope you had it right. You can always ask us if you have any questions, but of course you can also play around and toy with it like I did here in this example, because you cannot make any mistakes. So funny thing, you know, what, what will happen if I do something like this, right? So I, yeah, it, I suppose it is valid code. Let me see if it works. Oh, it says it's not valid. Very nice. Um, all right. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Because first we apply the plus plus operation, which is the pre-increment of this value. We return a value. And from this value, we try to decrement one, which isn't, which isn't possible. Okay, even if you would try to put it into brackets, it will not work. Okay. And I, I don't go into details why it doesn't work, um, but it's quite amusing, right? So you see, even I did not think through all these kind of exercises, even though they are easy, because there are many, um, how to say, uh, many little special cases that you have would have to consider, depending on the language specification. So don't worry, just play with it and you will find some interesting aspects of the language. Okay? And I've never used before this kind of expression of 